there's all the time an electro file that initially attacks your pi system. This can be of different nature. In the case of how, how easy your electro file is a proton, what you want to generate is a mode stable carbocation. You would do the same when you add that to a triple point. Protonation leads to a vinyl cation. In some cases, depending on what else you add, you may see differences when you do alkyne chemistry relative to alkene chemistry. But the initial addition is exactly the same. So as much as we uh, talk rich intermediates, provided that you have large enough electrophiles, shown here with one example to be a mercury acetate, that would be the addition to the double bond so that you can do a more mild addition of water overall once you replace the mercury with uh, hydrogen. For the bromination, where as soon as your bromine gets closer to the pi system, it gets polarized so that you end up with a positively charged and a negatively charged bromine. You end up with this rich intermediate. For an alkyne, very much the same thing. And as much as we talk there about stability of carboketions, that also would be true for the alkynes, these intermediates that you have there. So in other words, if you have a difference in substitution pattern, you may prefer that it binds more to one generating than a more stable cation. Notice also that sometimes we cannot look at reactions as simply as Markovnikov uh, did, which the only thing he did is was counting hydrogens. We know more than he does because we know that there is cation intermediates, anion intermediates. So that what counts for the selectivity is the stability of the intermediate. And so if you then look into a situation like hyperpolarization, you have to realize that the relative distribution of electron changes. So now here the hydrogen is not positively charged, but negatively charged, which then leads to this uh, products that seem to be not following our optical speed. And very similarly, we can look at the radical reaction that you look to that special type that you have to expect in the case of HBr, which can react two different ways. So there, the initial attack of an electrophilic species here is triggered by that bromine radical. That's the first attacking species. And not, as in the ionic reaction, the protonation happens first. Both leads to an intermediate where the higher substitution would lead to a more stable intermediate. So whether this is a radical lacking one electron or whether this is a couple cation lacking two electrons all the time, the higher substituted center will be the one formed. So if you do that uh, for the alkenes, you could do very similar things uh, with when you do uh, hydrochloration and addition to the alkyne. One thing that, uh, that eventually you reach at is enol structures. In there, your normal reaction deviates. Don't do a second addition, but rather you have a different type of reaction happening in the second step. 
this kind of reaction we call plasmaization. I will come back to this in a minute. Also, what is very common to all those reactions, you initiate it with an electrophilic addition, you generate an intermediate, and you finish up the reaction by adding a nucleophilic part. It's common to all those reactions. And whether it is then HBr, uh, water addition under acidic conditions, uh, chromination, all the time there's a second part that adds uh, neutralizing uh, whatever is left over. Other stuff you need to know from the exam is stereochemistry. So be able to determine RS. Uh, understand what, what it means to have meso compounds, why that occurs. So this is closely related to symmetry, asymmetry in molecules. Find as many different ways of representing structures so that it helps you to best identify when you have a difference in two structures or uh, identical structures or inactivars. You cannot rule that, that, that completely take away uh, the geometries that we already talked about in alkene, so EZ or cis trans. That's also a stereochemistry. We found out, as uh, we did in this one trigger question, don't forget those. You also have variation there. And finally, consider stereochemistry of reactions. You, you will more and more have to take and, uh, care of that and pay attention to it because we will come out uh, at different outcomes depending on what starting materials. So this is guess what you have to consider for Thursday's test. And coming back to one of the clicker questions, because I had the feeling that there was a little bit of a confusion based on the answer, not necessarily on this, but on that question. When we talk about tautomeric structures, what that absolutely means is that these two structures are linked through a reaction. When we talk about reactions, what that means is we have a different atom-to-atom -atom connectivity. So in this case, this hydrogen is connected to oxygen number seven. In that case, the hydrogen is connected to oxygen number four. So you have different bonds. If you compare structures like this, then we call this tautomeric structure. The only way you can interconvert one into the other is you break a bond and you form a new bond. Now, if you take off that hydrogen and you look to the underlying electron distribution, you end up with resonance structures. One connecting then with this oxygen, where this electron density is used, leads to this tautomeric structure. The other one leads to that tautomeric structure. But to describe how the electron distribution is overall in the molecule, you would need different resonance structures. And we can demonstrate that with this set of compounds. So if you compare D, C, D, and E, any one hydrogen is connected to the same oxygen all the time in all those structures. And the same would be true for carbons to carbons and carbons to hydrogens. What we change though is the relative distribution of electrons. And none of those representations would give us a clear picture about the real electron distribution. The only way we get to learn that is that we have all of them. So that's what resonance is about. The limitation of my Lewis representation. Whereas tautomeric structures are two different structures connected through a reaction, a very special reaction. But if you take one, a hydrogen from one atom uh, away, you place it in a different atom.
Now let me, unless somebody has a question for the uh, upcoming exam. If you don't, then uh, let me look to one more time in the field of the reaction. What happens here 